Hey, how's it going? Do it yourself first. Today we're going to compare two quarter inch lithium ion powered impact guns. First up, my trusty old Harbor Freight one versus my shiny new Milwaukee one. So yeah, a lot of you in my previous video when I went over my top favorite tools in the shop, which included this Harbor Freight one, mentioned that I should look into getting this Milwaukee one and it works a lot better. So I thought to myself, hey, you already have the Milwaukee quarter inch ratchet, so therefore you already have the battery for the impact gun. Plus, I have a shopping addiction, so here we are. Now before we go any further, if you end up being interested in either one of these, I'll put links to where you can buy them online down below in the description box, so you can click on them and check them out for yourself. All right, so first we're gonna go over the specs on these two and then we'll test them out as well. All right, so again, for starters, the Harbor Freight Impact Gun uses a 12 volt lithium ion battery and it has a brushed DC motor and the brushes can be accessed through these screws on each side. Now the Milwaukee M12 Impact Gun also uses a 12 volt battery, but it uses a brushless electric motor. Now for those of you that are not familiar with brushless motors, well, brushless motors generally can provide more torque than brushed motors. They also have less noise and tend to be more reliable because you don't have to worry about things like the, the brushes that are on these motors, for example. But not just that, they also don't have spark when you're working with them. And if you're working on cars a lot, if you are ever around gas fumes, working with a tool that doesn't have spark is a huge advantage. Now, as far as the impact rating for these, Harbor Freight claims that these can provide 384 inch pounds of torque, whereas Milwaukee claims that this gun can provide 1200 inch pounds of torque, more than three times the Harbor Freight one. Now, as far as the size of these guns, the Harbor Freight gun is eight inches tall, six and three quarter inches long, and it has a width of two and a quarter inches. Whereas the Milwaukee one is seven and a half inches tall and about a five and a quarter inches long with about a width of two inches. Now it does have this belt clip that adds about a half inch to its width, but if you really want to, you can unscrew and remove it. Now both of these guns come with an LED light up front. Here's the Harbor Freight one and the Milwaukee one. Now as far as the charge time on the battery for these things, the Harbor Freight one with this charger that comes with it has a charge time of 45 minutes and the Milwaukee battery with this charger that came with my quarter inch ratchet has a charge time of 30 minutes. Also to be clear, both these guns are a quarter inch hex impact gun but you can obviously use adapters like this to use them with your quarter inch, three eighths and half inch sockets. All right, now both of these guns come with a variable speed trigger, but things are a little interesting. The Harbor Freight one has nine speeds, which may be difficult to see or hear on camera, but trust me, I counted them, it's at least eight speeds, but probably nine speeds. Now the Milwaukee one has four modes that you can choose from up top. Right up here, using this button, you can choose between the different modes that you see here. Now in mode one, you get zero to 1300 RPMs. In mode two, you get zero to 2400. And in mode three, you get zero to 3300. Now in mode four, you also get zero to 3300. But mode four is supposed to be designed for things like self-tapping screws and to help you reduce the chance of uh, stripping them or breaking them. So when you're working on your car, you're probably gonna be working in mode three, which gives you to the maximum speed and the maximum torque. And now the moment for which you started watching this video, we're gonna see which one of these quarter inch impact guns can you remove a lug nut? Now these lug nuts on this car are supposed to be torqued to 89 foot-pounds. So I'm gonna get my torque wrench and make sure these are torqued down correctly. There we go. All right, so first up, the Harbor Freight one with a half inch adapter and a 17 millimeter socket, if you're wondering. There goes nothing. Wah, wah, wah. All right, now let's make sure this is torqued to the same spec before we use the Milwaukee. Yep. All right, here goes nothing. Nope, no go. All right, let's bring it down to 80 foot-pounds. It was 80. All right, once again, first the Harbor Freight. And again, the Milwaukee. 
Whoa, look at that. It took it off. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, pretty surprising. I didn't think it was going to take it off at 80. I thought we had to go down to 60 or maybe even 50 foot-pounds of torque before this could take it off. But, but yeah, this thing is pretty powerful. It's, uh, yeah, it's not only smaller, but also stronger than the Harbor Freight one. Now, just to satisfy my curiosity and maybe even yours, we're going to tighten this down to 60 foot-pounds of torque and keep going lower and see when the Harbor Freight one can remove it. All right, so here's at 60. Here's at 50. Here's at 20. 20 is the number, I guess. All right, now not surprisingly, the Milwaukee one is much stronger than the Harbor Freight one, but surprisingly, it's stronger by a lot. Now, one thing you gotta keep in mind is that, yes, the, the Harbor Freight one is, is not as strong, but it gets the job done most of the time. You know, if you're working at a, on your car once a month, you know, you're just looking to remove small bolts and fasteners from time to time, or you need to work uh, around the yard, putting up fences, putting down deck screws. This will work just fine. I've used this, you know, hundreds of times, both on the car and around the yard, and it has gotten the job done for me, no problem. But if you're gonna be working on your car specifically, or cars, or if you're a mechanic by profession, then investing in one of these is definitely worth it. But again, you gotta keep in mind, if you don't have the battery for these, this thing will cost more than three times or just about three times how much one of these will cost. So you gotta keep that in mind. And again, if you're interested in either one of these tools, links down below in the description box for you. But before you go, do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this, but also check out these other related videos of which I put a link to right up here up top and one right below it or clicking on any of my videos in the suggestion box will work as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.